And now we honor the class of 2019. First up, with a name like Zambezi, he's used to going last. <laughs> Tonight he goes first. Ben was a Georgia Bulldog before I got to Athens, but after I arrived, heard numerous legendary stories about Ben Zambezi and from afar always enjoyed watching him play the game. One of the all-time great Georgia linebackers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ben Zambezi. The last four months have been nerve-wracking because of this moment right here. You'd rather do almost anything except give public speaking. So I asked my dad, what's the secrets? And he said, stand up tall so they see you, talk loud so they can hear you, and keep it short so they love you. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do my best. The most important thing we have in life is time because we're only given a little bit of it. And the most important dates are our birth date and the day that we expire, which we don't know about. So in the short time that I've been on this planet and probably it's and it's getting faster and it's getting shorter as I get older, I've learned that the most important things in life are two things, love and forgiveness. And in my career, I have had a lot of that. <clears throat> Beginning with my family, I want to take this opportunity to thank my parents who brought me up understanding the principles, these two principles, love and forgiveness, and practicing them, and prioritizing your life, putting God first, family second, and your friends and community third. Now, I had a lot of gurus that have attributed to my success and for me being here tonight. And I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all these people. And I may ask for forgiveness if I don't mention everybody. But I want to tell you, these people right here were instrumental in my success growing up. My parents, up until the age of... 13, when I attended Mount DeSales and came to school uh, here in Macon, Georgia. My dad was military, and we were stationed in Warner Robins. So I had five great years. I was also born in the state of Georgia in Valdosta at a Moody Air Force Base. And traveled around the world, and it was, it was a great adventure. So the, the, the people I'd like to thank tonight, first of all, is the, my parents, the coaches, the staff, my teammates, everybody that was instrumental in my life in, in, in sports, in my education. And this, this weekend has been a fantastic weekend for me. Now, I want to thank the committee. We have uh, the citizens and the citizens that nominated me the committee that selected me, and the great staff that they have currently working here to get me and my family from Canada down here. My dad got transferred when I was in high school and I left Georgia and we went to Germany and I want to, and then a year after being in Germany, I came back to live and go to, back to school at Mount DeSales and I want to say how important that was to me and my family. And they've adopted me basically in 1973 to 1975 as one of their own. And that was future Hall of Fame and future Georgia Sports Hall of Fame inducted Mike Garvin and his family who are here tonight. My three younger brothers, Michael Garvin, Rob Garvin and Matt Garvin. And my immediate family, my youngest brother, who also attended George on a university scholarship, Michael. 
thank you very much, Sports Hall of Fame members. And I want to also thank some people that were so key to me at my next level, and that was the University of Georgia, where it was my best four years of my life. Coach Vince Dooley, who's here with some... The late, great Irk Russell, Chip Wisdom, and all my teammates that came out to support me here tonight from Ray Golf. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for this great honor to be part of the Georgia Sports Holiday in Macon, Georgia. God bless you all. I love you so much. And thank you for sharing this great award with me tonight. Thank you.